Welcome to Linux Help. Today we are going to see how to use kit push and pull command Linux Debian version 11.3. A kit pull command is one of many that claim responsibility for synchronizing remote content. The kit remote command specifies which remote endpoints will be used for syncing. A remote repository can be updated by using the kit push command. The kit fetch command is often confused with the kit pull command. Today we are going to see how to get GitLab push and pull on Debian version 11.3. First I will check the OS version. I am using Debian version 11. I am going to the browser. Log into the GitLab. Enter the username or mail id. Enter the password. This is the welcome page for the GitLab. Now I am creating a new project. So now I am going to the admin page. Create a new project. The project name is test project. Enter the visibility level, public level, private or internal level. I am public level access. Next, install the Installize repository with the readme and create the project. The new project was created successfully. Next, go to the command prompt. Now I am moved to the home Linux help directory. Now I am create the new folder. The folder name was project. Move to the project folder. Next now I am going to download the kit. The kit download after next run the kit init command. Next go to the GUI terminal to open the document file. Now I am going to open the project file. To click view and show the hidden files. The dot kit file can be created. Next select the dot kit file to be created for the branches, hooks and info objects and various files. Next now I am going to the command prompt. Now I am check the status from the GitLab using git status command. Now I am going to create the clone for the GitLab. Go to the GitLab. To click the clone and copy with the HTTP URL and go to the command terminal. To enter the kit clone command and paste the HTTP URL, the fatal error can be came. Avoid for the fatal error. Go to the host entry file, enter the IP address and the email address. Enter the gitlab.example.com Then save and exit. Now I am going to again run the git clone command. 
and paste the clone URL. The get clone has been running successfully. Now I am going to long listing the file. Now move to the test project directory. Now again long listing the file. The readme project moved to the GitLab 2 remote machine. The push was completed. Next I am going to create the pull process. One file can be pulled to remote machine to GitLab. Now I am going to create the empty file. Again long listing the file. Next run the git add command. Next execute the git commit command. Next go to the GitLab and to be create the access token. Go to settings. To click the access token. To create the access token name. After enter the name to be select the all scope. To create a personal access token. Copy the personal access token. Go to the command prompt. After creating the access token, now I am going to run the git push origin master command. Enter the username. And paste the access token. Now go to the browser and open the project. The test empty file will be moved to the remote machine to GitLab. The pull process can be completed. With this the steps for the how to clone and push and pull process GitLab in Debian version 11.3 is completed. Thank you for watching this video and if you like it please subscribe to our channel. To learn more tutorials, visit www.linuxhelp.com and if you have any queries, mail us to support at linuxhelp.com.